So my position entails connecting the natives within our community, which is native indigenous, to resources. So that could be federal, state, county, community, cultural. So a lot of ways to plug people into resources. The kind of cultural resources are uh, maybe traditional medicines, maybe a traditional medicine person, a lot of cultural uh, funeral resources. So maybe you need a building for the wake, maybe you need food for the feast, maybe you need wood for the fire. So those are some of the requests that people actually ask for. The main source that it does is my, my salary, my position. Without that funding source, there would be no be me, there would be no position. I'm grateful as a community member to be able to have hold the position and to be able to give these services um, because they're so much very needed and I didn't realize this until I got into the position. I guess the biggest changes were uh, just a lot of telephoning. The, the main thing was, you know, telephoning. All the community events were gone, they were wiped out. At first it was easy checking on everyone, but then as the assignments grew and the connections grew and you grow as a resource person, and if you do a good job, the word's gonna spread. So therefore, you, you'll have more people reaching out because they feel like, um, you're going to follow through, that they're going to get their real needs met, you know. It's not going to be a dead-end effort. They're going to get the results they're looking for. One of the biggest reasons they're raising, uh, elders are raising their grandchildren and, and trying to get custody is drug use and drug abuse. So if you talk about a gap or a need within our community, to me it's a pandemic. You can drive through where I live in South Minneapolis and see a lot of drug use, a lot of homelessness. One, one was even from Canada, still now trying to get her great-grandchildren custody of them. So now you're dealing with another country. So what's the result of that? A lot of kids unsupervised and maybe not eating or whatever the situation is. And, and the heroes are the grandparents many times. Just to work with elders is a real honor. I mean, they're they're interesting, they're funny, they got a lot of stories. Um, I, I know I called one early on and, and she says, thank you for calling, you make me feel important. So yeah, it's um, very rewarding.